What about sexual coworkers? Awful. Okay, just say you don't care. What about friends say with... Say friends with benefits one more time and see what happens. I was gonna say friends with something else. Really? Mm -hmm. What were you gonna say? Benefits? Yeah, pathetic. My friends and I would say that you guys are just chilling. Wait, full on sex is now considered just chilling? Uh-huh, and mouth stuff is hanging out, and hand stuff is pretty much, I like you, but just as a friend. Huh. Oh, times have changed. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't intend to tell everyone how much I was making, and honestly, I'm quite surprised that anyone receiving that information from a clearly confused and elderly woman would make that announcement. I'm a good soldier, I do what I'm told. Well, I just wanna say, it's awesome to see another floor supervisor doing so well. I think I speak for all floor supervisors when I say you are an inspiration. Oh. Okay, thank you. It's probably tough on Jonah, though. Can't imagine where this is going. I'm just saying, making so much less money than your girlfriend? It's gotta be emasculating. Probably makes it tough to get an erection. My erections are fine, thank you. Fine. <laughs> Lucky lady. I'm actually shocked you're not making more. I, mean, I thought a manager would at least make more than we do. She does. I don't think so. How much do you make? Same thing we all make, $134,000 a year. Whoa! <laughs> what? How do you make that much a year? 52 weeks times 30 hours a week times minimum wage, 86 bucks an hour. No, 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 no. Minimum wage is 860 an hour. <gasps> I must have missed that decimal point. So no part of you thought to question why you were making $86 an hour to work retail? Yeah, I thought that's what we all made. Oh. Oh, How do you guys live on under $134,000 a year? I cut the budget. I let people go. You're going to have to pay that back. Oh, now you're taking his money? The rich get richer. No, it goes back to corporate, not to me. And who pays you, corporate? Funny how that works. Follow the money, people. I can't pay that money back. I'm living hand to mouth as it is. I always say, mo money, mo problems. That's what you say. You say that. I can't believe you were spying on us. That is so illegal. No, actually, it's it's not illegal. Uh, it's a gray area, so perfectly fine. Are we sure this is the last one? I don't know. Dina's the one who put them everywhere. Yeah, Amy was just the one sitting watching us in the dark without our consent. No, all of the lights were on. Maybe I should take down all the smoke detectors, you know, just to be safe. Yes, that's definitely the safest thing to do. What other private areas do you spy on us in? Are there cameras in the bathroom? Oh my god, are you watching us masturbate at work? Uh, no, and you shouldn't be masturbating at work. And how do you know I'm doing it? I'm good, thanks. I'm not the bad guy here. You're the ones who've been sitting in here talking about me behind my back. If you have something to say, why don't you just say it to my face? Yeah, that goes for everyone. If you have an opinion about someone, tell them, bad or good. Who goes around saying good things about people behind their backs? That's a really good question. Garrett, do you have any thoughts about that? No, not really. We were talking about you because you're the boss. Everyone complains about the boss. Wait, did you guys used to say things about me when I was the boss? No. It's just something we started doing recently. Oh, okay. Good. So when we do need to masturbate, where are we supposed to go? I don't know. Maybe hold it? You can go to your car. Loading dock. Milk aisle. <clears throat> There's a nook in the garden center that's good. Or hell. Okay, what if someone steals a baby? What then? Do you want me to just sit there and watch someone take a baby? What if the baby is wearing a bomb? Then wouldn't you want him to steal it? I'm trying to picture a scenario in which somebody plays Oh, it. what if it's baby Hitler? Oh, That's yeah. a very good question. Tough. Is it, I think you gotta kill that baby Hitler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how would you know that that baby was gonna grow up to be Hitler? What if that baby was gonna grow up to be the exact opposite of Hitler? Churchill. No. Lance Bass. Interesting. Huh. Oprah. Yeah, Oprah. Oh, yeah. Oprah. Oprah. You gotta save that baby. You gotta save it? I'm more of an Ellen person. It's fun when she dances. Anyway, what I'm saying is, don't be a Dina, be a Jonah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, you guys, what if it's baby Oprah, but the person stealing it is Beyonce? Whoa! Attention! Attention! Okay, everybody look over at me now. Okay, that's as loud as my voice goes, so I'm not, I'm not sure what to do here. I would definitely kill a wolf. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Today is a uh, very exciting day because Stratus is doing a profile on our store. <laughs> yeah, ooh, oh, yeah. What's Stratus? Hmm? 
Um, only our internal corporate magazine. Magazine isn't exactly accurate. It's more like misleading propaganda. No, it's not. Minimum wage is maximum fun. It is. Work it off, a guide to injuries on the job. Oh, that is a super fun read. Oh, there's a jingle writing contest. Bo could enter that. If he won, he could stop dancing for his mom's friends. It's my responsibility to show the reporter around. So please, let's let's put our best foot forward, okay? <gasps> Cheyenne, that means no falling asleep in the bedding department. I get tired, Glenn, I'm pregnant. Not today, you're not. Okay. Uh, oh, and Sal, I'm, I'm gonna need you to take the creepiness down to about a two, okay? Garrett, um, I love those nicknames you come up with for me, but uh, yeah. some people might see them as insulting, so why don't you just get them out of your system now? Glenda, G-nothing, Glen Gary, Glen Lost, Glenema, <laughs> Glental Soup, Transglender. Oh, that's a new one. You gotta keep this reporter away from me. I hate reporters. My school paper once misidentified me as a scoliosis victim. <laughs> the joke is, my spine is perfect, okay? I can bench 160. 165 in the right situation. Okay, let's get out there and have a newsworthy day. Do it for the old, uh, G-spot. See, you're not the only one who's good at nicknames. This is nice, huh? Taking a well-earned break with my coworkers. I feel like I'm finally fitting in here. <laughs> You don't get to decide when you're fitting in. We'll let you know. I'm just saying, getting used to it. Ugh. <laughs> not getting used to standing all day. It's not a problem I have to deal with. Yeah, well, lucky you, my friend. <laughs> not luck, lucky, not lucky you. That's, I don't think you're lucky. So you think I'm unlucky? Uh, not, well, you know what I mean. That's, that's an, ex it's an expression. And I why don't you just eject right now? You know, it's so weird that your feet hurt. Because every time I see you, I feel like you're sitting. Try doing this job six months pregnant. Yeah, seriously, that's brutal. I didn't know you were pregnant too. I was when I was 19. Then I gave birth to my daughter. So I'm not pregnant now, but thank you for thinking so. I didn't mean you look pregnant. I just meant- Eject, I, eject. I didn't know that you had a child. I, listen, that's, I think that's beautiful. Really, I, I'm in awe of single mothers, so. I'm married. Ooh, you should have just ejected, man. Why are you in awe of single mothers? I just think it's it's very brave to have a child, especially at your age. Oh, I didn't set out to have a baby. Came from sex. Right, sure, uh, but but you you bravely made the decision to go through with it. Well, I couldn't get a ride to Planned Parenthood. Well, if you ever need one in the future. Jonah, I'd prefer if you didn't offer to shuttle our employees to the abortion clinic. No, I meant rides in general. What if it was just for a pap smear? Could I get a ride for that? They recommend one a year, but I like to go extra. Make sure everything's up to code. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm fine with you driving your coworkers anywhere except the abortion clinic. Damn it, Glenn. Well, you cannot talk about your personal feelings on abortion in the workplace. I didn't bring up abortion, oh, he, he did. Me. That's and not you technically. Are I am begging allowed me to, to say the I word abortion. Listen, I didn't abortion. I'm recording this entire abortion. conversation. Just speaking of the phone. Abortion, 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 Thank abortion. Thank you very much, you dug your own grave. Oh, look how cute. Mermaid treasure for the treasure hunt. The treasure is seashells? Wouldn't mermaid treasure be something they don't have general access to? Like human garbage would be treasure to them. I wish I were a mermaid. I would clean up. I think you'd be a merman. Yeah, I don't really think merman as a thing. Then how do they used to, you know, <laughs> unless that's why they went extinct. <laughs> they didn't go extinct. <laughs> they lost their tails over the course of centuries and turned into humans. It's called evolution. I don't think so. Okay, fine, God made us. Look at the human eye. It's too complicated. No, I, I believe in evolution. I'm just saying it's make-believe. Like, it's like unicorns. We don't know that there were never unicorns. I read that we discover like 50 new species of frogs each year. Maybe scientists just haven't discovered unicorns yet. Frogs are tiny. I think somebody would have noticed a unicorn. A lot of people believe unicorns exist. A lot of people believe in Bigfoot. A lot of people believe in angels. I believe in angels. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah, I do. I used to think kangaroos were real. Trouble in paradise. Have you been in the break room all day? Yeah, I'm just not feeling it today.